I think that the role that the libraries have created in the neighborhoods is a powerful message to libraries around the world um, about the impact that libraries can help on the lives of individuals. I've always thought that libraries change lives, but I've seen here how the construction of quality space, really stunning architecture, can change the entire attitude, feeling of people who live in a neighborhood, the sense of pride that people feel for their library. There are five stunning libraries. We need more. And I'm pleased that there are more planned, but it can't stop there. It has to continue. I think there are many takeaways for me. I think the, the, I'm most impressed but in every situation I've been in, both in the libraries and other cultural organizations, about the sense of pride that people express about what they do and where they are. That sense of pride is really very palpable. Um, several years ago, there was a very interesting article in the New York Times about Fajardo and um, a, some photographs of the, one of the libraries. And that's how I first started learning about the libraries here. And then I'm very fortunate to have on my conservation staff a woman from Medellin who um, also filled me in on, on what's going on. We have, um, the New York Public Library has a collection of um, 53 million things. And a large portion of those things are in some state of decay or disrepair or needing attention in order to be available for future generations. We have, for instance, a copy of the Declaration of Independence in Thomas Jefferson's hand uh, that was written uh, in the 1700s, and so ensuring that that's going to be available in 100 years, and 200 years, and 300 years uh, is the kind of thing that we worry about. And the reason that we've focused so much attention on conservation and preservation, built a quality staff is ex expert in many different areas of paper and photography and film, and have um, just finished planning and the design of a brand new state-of-the-art conservation preservation facility um, that the work will be doing there. I'm always looking for um, quick wins, easy starts, things that, that um, kind of what I would describe as no-brainer kinds of activities. And I think the first thing that we can do very easily is to organize a meeting here in Medellin to talk about preservation and digitization. That, uh, I, as I said, I have experts on my staff who I would be delighted to bring here and introduce to Medellin and start a conversation about what might be possible here. And also to think about some kind of a training program to share the expertise that we have with uh, the folks who live libraries here. Um, I love talking to library users. I think that's the favorite part of my job. I love um, finding out what they're doing, what role the library plays in their lives, what we might be doing better to meet their needs. Uh, I just love interacting with our, our user community.